my job role actually involves uh, the day-to-day -day running of the centre, um, dealing with the customers, um, organising the staffing, the rotors, um, ensuring the facility is clean and tidy um, for the public, um, attending management um, meetings and also the course admin for the adult and children's lessons. The facilities here, before they were built, they were an actual building site, a tip. Um, they were put together more or less for the Commonwealth Games um, and this uh, facility was used for table tennis and then later on the tennis facility was installed. This kind of sport helps uh, the surrounding community. Um, basically it's opened up for schools, the people who live in the area, the community, clubs, the Lawn Tennis Association and everybody around. My name's Mark Cowley, I'm the, the tennis coach here at Sports City Tennis Centre. Um, I've worked here now for two years. Um, I'm currently the only coach that works here. I'm coaching about 120 people a week. Um, that varies between the older players, uh, the golfers age 65, I think is the oldest, down to the youngest is about five. Um, some of them are in groups. Uh, some of them are individual lessons, um, schools as well where there could be up to 30 uh, children in one group. Um, so it's a wide variety uh, throughout the week. It's a great job. I used to work in a bank, so it's, uh, it's much better than working there. Um, keeps me fit, keeps me active. British tennis has had a problem with access to facilities in areas of the country um, that have previously been deprived and run down like here in Sports City, we're in yeah. you know, a poor area of Manchester, um, so the people wouldn't have previously had access to a tennis club or an indoor tennis facility. So with six indoor tennis courts here, um, there's all-round play throughout the whole year. Um, also, it allows the people to play for a, a very cheap price. It only costs one pound for the children to play. Right. So... We have the equipment here and everything, so all they've got to do is turn up with one pound. It's cheap, it's accessible. They can, they can play seven days a week throughout the entire year. Weather's not a factor because of the roof, so it should help, definitely. All right. Um, my name's Georgina. Uh, I've been coming to the centre for about a year and I work for Camelot, the National Lottery. Uh, my name's Sharon. I've been coming to the centre probably for about two years, first of all with my little boy, and I've recently joined the coaching sessions here. I found the tennis centre with a, an advert in the local paper that was the launch when Tim Henman actually came to open it, so that made me want to come and find out what was going on. I'm co-captain with Sharon for the ladies team and we're actually entering the Oldham League with two teams and maybe the Manchester League and I also come on a Wednesday night for the coaching sessions which we have about an hour and a half of coaching. Yeah, I enjoy my activity here, really enjoy coming. Um, as I said before, it's, you, you get to meet people um, who you wouldn't have met otherwise which is quite a good environment. Uh, I enjoy all the activities that I do here. Um, I've actually helped Mark as well, who's our coach. I've been out to a couple of schools with Mark, so um, and I enjoy bringing my little boy on a Saturday morning. Um, I think the service provided here is really good. People are friendly. It's quite. It can be quite a club atmosphere. Um, you can often get a court when you need it. Um, yeah, basically, it's good price. It's it's definitely a good service. Uh, I think the service provided here is, is relatively good. They need to pick up on a, a few things. It's been left to the ladies, really, to try and organise the team. We've not had a great deal of input and help. Uh, but we are managing to get a regular...
core of players, so hopefully once we realise we're serious, we'll get a bit more support from the actual centre. I live in Sale and I play tennis here once a week. I play for a tennis club who play here regularly on a Saturday afternoon for two or three hours. Yes, it's great fun, uh, it's a nice sociable bunch of people I play tennis with. It's a, it's a new facility and um, access to it's very good, everything's clean, new, modern. Great. I suppose the only thing I would say improve-wise is um, the social side. It's, uh, it's difficult to sit and have a conversation with people afterwards. It's a relatively small cafe. Maybe a bar area or a bar nearby would be quite useful just to sit and have a chat after a game.